All right, beer time, round two for the dogfish head activity box. Which is supposed to be a cooler. We talked about this last video. So far, we still have yet to get a single leak out of it. Yay, and there is water in there. It's water in the bottom now from the ice melting. Also, yep. I will note, it took 15 to 18 minutes for a beer to get cold, like fully cold. But it's cold. In that box, with yeah. full, it's about halfway full of ice right before the handles, right? Yeah. We don't want the ice falling out of the handles. Because ice did fall out of the handles. There should be like some flaps to fold over the handles to cover that, but they're not there. But the ice was sufficient. I think it's meant more so for the full 12 pack instead of just putting one of each in there. But we're still doing good. No mess. And now we're going to move on to the Slightly Mighty. And this is Dogfish Head's low calorie IPA which I mean that's a win-win really I mean I love just downing IPAs left and right as everyone else that is into the craft beer world but this is a really light one and they won't fill you up too quick it's actually only 95 calories a can which is lighter than the White Claw who advertises a hundred as like on the can like on the front like it's some glorious achievement to have a beverage under at add or equal to 100 calories which this is less than mm -hmm. oh no it says 95 on the can and, and yeah well on the, the very very top it's yeah. not very it's not brightly front and center yes that's impressive that's yeah. like super impressive to have an ipa under 100 calories okay and supposedly the way they do this is they use monk chinese monk fruit as the sweet and sugar catalyst for the beer and monk fruit is much lower on calories than standard cane sugar fructose mm -hmm. corn syrup whatever you know all that garbage that we shouldn't be ever ingesting anyway so that's really interesting and really smart and it's mm -hmm. really cool it's uh, also low on carbs too right i believe so. 3.6 is pretty low this is a locale ipa is brewed with mighty aromatic hop varieties that differ tropical notes with slightly sweet balance provided by the monk fruit extract so it's not actual monk fruit, it's just the extract. It's excellent. <laughs> so aromatically, like IPAs, it's all about the aroma, right? Hops actually don't, like from my experience with eating hops, like when I make beer, every time I put hops into my wort, I eat a, a flower, right? Or I eat a pellet, whichever one I'm using, to taste and learn, right? That's the only way you're going to learn how to make good beer or to learn more about beers, to actually taste the ingredients as you go. And it might be a little off-putting, like, hey, you don't eat that, that's weird. But you won't learn otherwise. So I've started to do that whenever I'm making beer, I'm hanging out with my other friends that do make beer. In all the little processes, I always take a little scoop, a little taste, and see what's going on. Hops don't have a lot of taste. Hops just, to me anyway, it's just pure bitter on your tongue. Which I like bitter, so it's not bad, but it's not something to like seek out. Like the malt tastes incredible, right? Like it's just like oatmeal, but beer and better is the best way to describe it. Like malt is wonderful. It's like chewing tobacco, but delicious, right? Like you just want to like, oh, let me just chew on this for a couple minutes while we're making this beer. It's great. Hops, you can't really do that with. You taste it and it's like, yeah, that's bitter. Hops are all smell. And that's why you, whenever beers are advertised, it's always talking about like the aroma or the aromatics of the hops. It's because hops are all smell and smell obviously as we all know is a large part of taste okay so like just putting this glass of this low-cal IPA up to your face before you drink it, you can smell the hops you can smell the taste to expect and it's all there still it's also a very light color it's very light you can definitely like shockingly see... light for an IPA yeah it's super see-through light color so I have a rule of thumb this this is the one beer I found that breaks my rule of thumb if I can see my hand on the other side of a glass. Yep. I generally think it's not a good beer, right? I don't want to see through it. It should be hazy enough, or dark enough, one of the two, where I can't see my fingers. You can on this one, it is that light. But it is also that stinking good. They figured out how to have such a light IPA that still hits all the notes you're looking for in an IPA. That alone should be celebrated and applauded and out, out of this activity box, this is kind of the sleeper, like the sleeper OP beer, right? Like this is impressive. Oh, we have a small leak. We have a leak. 
we have a tiny itty bitty leak. To be fair, there's a lot to of water. Be fair. To be fair. So we're about 40 minutes into that box. Yeah. And we have a leak. How bad is the leak? It's on the Very minimal. Very minimal. So obviously this leak, this box isn't meant to be in your house because you got a damn fridge. Or on the bed. You, you got a fridge. You have an actual cooler. This is meant to, you know, you bought the box, you're going to the beach, you're going to the park, you're going to the boat, whatever you're doing, you dump some ice in it, let's go. If you're not a fan of the, the, the ghosts, the sours, you don't want a sweet beer, right? You don't want a stout, it's too hot out, you know, or you're too full already. You know, you don't want a brown, because that's like, you know, the baby stout. And you're obviously not looking for a, like a, a traditional light beer, because that's, what's the point? Just, yeah. Might as well drink a White Claw, right? This is the answer. This is an impressive answer. You get all the hop aromatics out of this beer while it's still being light, crisp, dry, and smooth. Right? IPAs are hardly far from smooth. That's why we get them. We like the bitter, we like the dry, and we like you know, it's like you get, you want an IPA so so thick you gotta chew it down. There's so many hops, like oh I got hops in my teeth from drinking this beer. Give me another one. But that's not always the case. You don't always want that. This is that alternative. Maybe a beginner IPA. It, it could also be the beginner IPA to turn on your non-IPA friends to IPAs. Now I the way I was turned on to IPAs was through a very fruity hazy IPA. Because I was a big fan of sours going into IPAs, uh, but some like sours are so niche. Not a lot of people like them anyway. It's, a, it's such a weird concept for a beer. This might be the that next best bet. Like you're probably not going to turn a Bud Light guy into an IPA guy with this beer, but someone that likes some craft beer, some different things, might be more inclined to try this to be the gateway to more hops in their beverages. Like, I can't express enough how much aroma comes off of this beer as you drink it. Like, the second I pull this glass up to my in my face, I instantly smell all of it. Like, it's still all there. All the smell from the hoppiest beer you've had, you're still getting. It just, it, it's light. Like, it's like if, like... It's not in your face. Like, I smelled the glass. It's... But the aroma that you're looking for in an IPA is still there for a under 100 calorie, <laughs> <coughs> not white claw, beer. Like, you're looking out for your diet, you can drink this one, and you're better off than drinking a white claw. Because this also beer. is monk fruit instead of sugar. So I bet you won't have that sugar hangover. And it's, I mean, it's super easy to go down. Like, I know... Um, I don't ever want to compare Dogfish Head anything to Bud Light because I'm a huge Dogfish Head fan. I drink a lot of Dogfish Head, daily drinker kind of stuff. Like the the uh, Barton Brenton right now, which is their oak aged IPA, double IPA. It's like I think 12.0. One of the best beers I've had in the last like two years, and uh, I've been buying the hell out of it, and I can't stop. But at that note. You might be able to trick a Bud Light guy into drinking this beer. Tricking your dad? It's potential. He's a tough one. I know we all have that one guy in the family, the friends, just like, ah, I just want Bud Light. Or I just drink Natty Light. Or I drink High Life. There's nothing wrong with that. You like what you like. Men know what they like. Like, a man... We, stubborn. We, we are stubborn and we know what we like and we want what we like. We're comfortable with it and we want to just stick with it, right? This could be that gateway to more fun things for those people. Try new things. Because it's like an extremely light beer. It's very, very drinkable. But there's hops in it. Noticeably hops in it. The smell, the, the aroma, everything is there. But in this extremely drinkable light package. That's awesome. And there's a whole gram of protein in each one of these too. Hey, more protein than the White Claw too. <laughs> This is the one I was sleeping on. It shocked me to the point where I, I will probably buy a 12-pack if I can find it for those days where I know I'm going to be outside. This is a crisp, light, 
easy drinker where you still get that full hot flavor. Comparing it to other IPAs and double IPAs, obviously you may be disappointed. There's not a whole lot going on. That also kind of explains why the art on the can is very light in detail. It's very simple light. From the artist, you gotta trust her on that one. It's good. Mm -hmm. You need to go try this one. Not everyone's a ghost fan. Not everyone's a fan of the other things in this tackle box, activity box. This one is the one to take away. This is the one to take home. This is the one to try, and this is the one to share with your friends. If you're looking to get your buddies into drinking IPAs with you, this is the one to share with them. For what this beer is, and what they advertise it for, it's a 10 out of 10. Knocks it out of the park, perfect. Could not be better. This is what a light IPA should be. It's damn good. Happy America Day. We'll be back shortly with, part with three the next of four. beer. There's, we got two more to go, and we're going to get through these. One of them's not so good, one's okay. Find out which one. We'll figure out which one shortly. <laughs>